Face diagnosis, we take up the cautions. Face reading is best done in the morning. It is best to check your face in the morning when your chi and blood status is neither disturbed nor affected by other factors such as mood changes and exercise. In the morning, your complexion is most natural and therefore it is easy to detect disease through facial inspection. With a good understanding of the changes in your complexion, you will find signs of any ailment that is developing in your body in a timely manner. Do not wear makeup for face reading. Cosmetics conceal the true color of your facial skin, which is not conducive to disease detection. For example, a sallow complexion is a manifestation of a spleen deficiency syndrome, but a ruddy complexion due to facial makeup may lead the doctor to a wrong diagnosis. Wearing lipstick can make a person with pale lips, a sign of yang deficiency, appear normal or with balanced chi and blood. Therefore, patients are advised against wearing makeup before seeing their doctor. Let the doctor see you in your most natural state for an accurate diagnosis. Do not consume colored foods or drinks before face reading. Before a face reading session, the consumption of certain foods or drugs with color such as tomatoes, licorice, tablets, or black plums may lead to misdiagnosis because tomato will turn your mouth cavity and lips reddish, while foods such as black plums tend to make the tongue coating black. Coffee, egg yolks, oranges, yellow pills, and oral liquids will make the tongue coating look yellow. All these affect the color of the face and tongue coating and thereby can lead to misdiagnosis. Stay calm and relax during face reading. A person's state of mind is also a factor for consideration. When people are angry, sad, or in a state of ecstasy, their complexion will turn a different color than usual. Therefore, maintain peace of mind and body during face reading so your complexion will not be affected by these emotional factors. Seasonal changes affect complexion. Human complexion changes as the seasons change. In spring, the complexion is faintly greenish, slightly red in summer, but pale yellowish in prolonged summer. That is the last 18 days of each season, pale in fall and a bit dark in winter. Before we continue uh, with the discussion, we will have to take note of some definitions for our TCM newbies. No. Stomach fire is a pathological development caused by exuberance of stomach heat turning into fire. Primary symptoms include heartburn and acid reflux, pain in the stomach, abdominal fullness, dry mouth and bad breath, swollen and painful gums, and constipation or loose stool. Stomach fire is also called stomach heat, and it's usually triggered by indulgence in alcohol or excessive intake of pungent oily foods and poor dietary habits. Cold syndrome, a syndrome characterized by repression of the functional capacity of the human body due to invasion of cold pathogens or hyperactivity of the yin leading to a yang deficiency. The syndromes are manifested as cold and chill. Heat syndrome, a syndrome characterized by warm and heat features. It is the result of hyperactivity in the body due to an attack of heat pathogens, hyperactivity of the yang in the internal organs, or overactive yang due to a yin deficiency. Clinical manifestations are feverish sensation, aversion to heat and preference for cold, constant desire for liquids due to thirst, redness in the face, irritability and anxiety, thick yellow nasal discharge and sputum, scanty yellow urine, dry stool, and red tongue with little saliva. Liver fire. Exuberance of liver fire that exceeds the tolerance of the human body turns to a pathogenic fire. The causes are mostly emotional factors, improper dietary habits, and pathogenic fire transmitted to the liver meridian. The symptoms are manifested as lightheadedness, redness in the face and eyes, a bitter taste in the mouth, irritability or a short temper, constipation, and a yellow and yellow urine. Wind heat. Pathogens of wind and heat simultaneously attack the human body to cause diseases. Clinical manifestations are high fever, mild chills, coughing, and thirst. Essence is an umbrella term that encompasses all physical substances in the body, including chi, blood, body fluids, and nutrient essence. Pathogenic heat congesting the lung. 
internal stagnation of pathogenic heat in the lungs, which often invades through the mouth and nose, or wind cold and wind heat invading the interior, thereby transforming the hyperactivity of yang into febrile diseases, blocking the lung. As opposed to superficial syndrome, interior syndrome indicates that the pathological changes have entered deep into the zhang and fu organs, qi, blood, and bone marrow, such that the illness is in the internal part of the body and the condition is more severe and lingering. Superficial syndrome, pathological changes that occur in the superficial part of the body and are often regarded as in the early stage of a disease. This is also called exterior syndrome. Sanjiao or tripal burners or energizers. Sanjiao means the three burners. The topmost burner, the upper burner, corresponds to organs in the thorax, above the diaphragm, which are concerned with breathing. The middle burner corresponds to organs in the region above the stomach, which are those concerned with digestion. The lower burner corresponds to the organs lower down in the abdomen, those belonging to the urogenital and gynecological systems. Hyperactivity of the liver fire. A heat-related syndrome due to hyperactivity of the liver function. It is most related to emotional factors, diet, and heat pathogens in other xanthal organs affecting the liver meridian. Main clinical symptoms are lightheadedness, redness in the face and eyes, bitter taste in the mouth, and irritability and a short temper. Deficiency of vital qi resulting in reduced body resistance to diseases and impaired functioning of the physical body is the definition of deficiency syndrome. Manifestations are pale complexion and pale colored lips, tiredness and fatigue, general malaise, shortness of breath, palpitations, spontaneous sweats and night sweats, loose stool, and frequent urination. Yang deficiency, the insufficiency of yang leading to the decline of the body's warming function, which brings about a series of clinical symptoms that are mostly developed from long-term qi deficiency. It is also associated with dietary habits, living in a cold residence for a long time, long-term illness of the elderly, and congenital weakness in the physical constitution. Thank you for your attention.